Hello, and welcome to my video on exploring the way breaching and pole straps work. I start with a single horse in breaching, so we see how a breaching engages to allow the horse to stop and back the vehicle. This is our baseline. Then we will hitch the pair and drive them to the carriage and a draft style hitch wagon. The goal of this video is to get the viewer to stop and think about how they harness and hitch their miniature pairs to vehicles. Here we have our single horse. Watch the two pads. This gives us an idea of where the pressure is being applied on the horse's rump and croup. We can see that as a single, the horse sits in the breaching seat to push the cart backwards. This is where most of the pressure is being applied. The loin strap hardly moves at all. Now that we know that's how breaching works, let's apply it to our pair. Here we have a draft style side backer harness. The breaching straps run forward and attach to individual neck yokes. This gives a perfect straight line from breaching seat to pole end. I've slowed the video down. This setup allows the horses to sit in the breaching seat and use their bodies to back the vehicle. Also, watch the collar. Here is the side backer with individual neck yokes from the front. You can see the clean line of draft for the breaching. Look at the shoulders, look at the collars, look at the horses. Once again, this is a side backer harness. However, this time I've connected the pole straps directly to the pole end creating an angle from collar to pole. This again is the side backer and it's connected directly to the pole. Pay close attention to the outer straps on the horses when they back. This is a draft style belly backer with the pole strap attached to a yoke. Watch the breaching seat and the collars. front view of the yoked belly backer. Here we have the side backer harness and I've connected the pole straps to the center of the pole.
Here's the belly backer harness with the pole straps attached to the center of the pole. Please watch the collars. Now we have a breast collar with a fixed pole strap and belly backer breeching. Keep an eye on the breeching, the breast collar, the pole, and the top of the horse's necks. Also, watch the attitude of the horses. This is the front view of the fixed pole strap. Watch the pole, breast collars, and the horses. I've changed the pole straps over to the floating version. Keep an eye on the breeching, the pole, the breast collars, and the horses. Once again, watch the pole, breast collars, and horses. We move on to the neck collars. Here I have fixed pole straps. Watch the collars and the breeching and the horses. Keep an eye on the collars. Here I've changed to the neck collars with floating pole straps. Again, watch the breeching, collars, pole, and horses.
floating pole straps from the front. This is what I'm currently using for training this pair and for competition. It is neck collars, floating pole straps, and I've modified the breeching. Once again, watch the breeching, collars, pole, and horses. The same setup from the front. Watch the collars, the pole, and the horses. And because I've been told you don't need a breeching with a pair, I thought I would include that as well on this video. Here's what it's like for a mini pair with a breast collar and false martingale. Watch the top of the necks and the attitude of the horses. Here it is from the front. Watch the pole and the collars and the attitude of the horses. And finally, neck collars with false martingales but no breeching. Keep an eye on the collar tops and bottoms and the pole. One final front view. Watch the collars and the pole. I hope that this video has helped you understand about collar types, harness types, and the importance of observing and listening to your horses. And I hope we all agree that the Appy Boys are truly awesome for allowing me to do all of this for you. Thanks again for watching my video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for more videos.